All right, so this is what happens when you have people that are young working these jobs that are not experienced and aren't really taking the job too seriously. They're just there for the check. I don't want to hear any excuses about the 14-year-old's weight. That was the issue. This wouldn't happen to anybody else. No, no, no. The issue was you have some young teenagers or young, I don't know, in their early 20s working these jobs and they don't take it seriously. There's a lot of safety checks that have to go along before you allow these rides to take off. But instead, if you go to any of these amusement parks, the guy that's supposed to be doing checks, he's cracking jokes, having a good time, trying to entertain the crowd. Because there is a line of people waiting to get on. So a lot of times these guys, they treat that little opportunity as a time to perform you know, a little stand-up routine. So instead of focusing on the checks, they're too busy trying to entertain a crowd. And it cost this 14-year-old boy his life. As far as I'm concerned, everybody that works there should be sued. That family should be compensated millions of dollars, even though I know that's not going to bring back their child. But for something little as just a safety check about a seatbelt, this easily could have been avoided. And those are the worst. Avoidable deaths. All these guys literally have to do is every single time before that thing takes off, is to go and check every single seat. That's what you're supposed to do. And then once you do that, you check it again. And then once you do that, you check it a third time. There's no such thing as overchecking or being overly cautious. You want to make sure that no accidents will ever happen. You want to make sure everybody's strapped in. If there's a seatbelt, it's clicked in. If there has to be, you know, clamped down. Because a lot of times, some of the rides, you have to, like, push it down. And it, like, clicks. You have to make sure you click every single last one of them. You can't just tell the people, okay, just... Everybody follow me and just click it down. Like, no, not everybody is going to be able to do that. You would think, but no, that's not the case. Some people will bring it 95% of the way down and think, oh, that looks right. When a lot of times you really have to click it for it to go. It's just sad how this, this crew thought that was acceptable to have the people that are on the rides to check their own seatbelts. Like, that's so out of bounds. And then... As the ride is in the air, you can hear them talking about, hey, did you check that seatbelt? Like, what? It's too late now. They're, they're all the way up in the air. As far as I'm concerned, everybody there should be fired. They all got to go. And that ride and that whole entire park needs to shut down until they properly train their staff on how to conduct business. If not, then that amusement park cannot continue to operate. It just can't. Because that's going to keep on happening. The only silver lining to this is that since this story is gaining so much traction and it's so big, it's going to be a PSA to all the amusement parks around the world and in the country that, hey, you got to take this stuff seriously. You got to take these checks seriously. You know, make sure everybody's fastened in because this can't happen. This can't happen. Nah, this can't happen again. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family because I know his parents were there in attendance. So they saw this happen. It happened in front of their eyes. You know, that's going to be something they can't unsee. And that's something that's going to stick with them for the rest of their lives. But yeah, that's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.